Our top story, a lack of consensus was amicably reached on the religious Kate debate. The divisiveness of the infamous Kate debate has been heightened thanks to the proposal that muffins, brownies and even crepes be considered as valid alternatives during a live airing of Globebusters. A globalist commenter who goes by the name of Flat Earth Math contributed to the uprising in typical globing fashion stating there is no cake on flat earth. These events unfolded in an internet chat room hosted by the Globebusters team on YouTube. A Globebusters moderator who wishes to remain anonymous said, this would never have happened on flat earth and other hot potatoes. This spontaneous cake debacle is set to erupt again this coming Sunday. In other news, the sun and moon cartwheel across the sky like a wagon wheel. This simple observation proves the moon is circling above the flat plane and dispels the notion that the moon is in orbit around a spherical Earth. This information was presented shortly after the contentious cake fiasco reached its short-lived conclusion on Sunday. The elegant observation was presented to the Flat Earth community by Nick of YouTube channel Phuket Word shortly before retiring to his straw mat bed on a hard tie floor. The island of Phuket is well known for its prostitution. In Gandalf news, a convoluted argument broke out earlier this week after Jesus dropped six points in the polls to Gandalf. Despite many religious groups' claims of knowing the one true path to God, the polls put Gandalf ahead of Jesus by the very slim margin of just three points. Zenu of Scientology fame, as channeled through Jet Skeptic Media, said, What else does? This poll is biased against intergalactic Gantadas. The poll was conducted by the NeverEnding Legend team on YouTube with full support and endorsement by guest Adam Joseph Doty, who considered that Gandalf is indeed greater. The final result will be revealed individually at the point of death. In global news, methodology to conclusively determine the shape of the Earth has been announced this week. The test has already highlighted the dogged determination of flat earthers to illustrate how the shape of the Earth being flat is here to stay. The ambitious yet elegant experiment has been extremely well spearheaded by the dreamy Brian Mullen and a team of structural engineers in brown socks. The test essentially glues together a load of two by fours to demonstrate the shape of the earth. I'm being informed that this is actually a precision test and no two by fours or glue will be used. The proposed location for this test is the Salia de Rooney the Bolivian salt flats after plans to use the Himalayas were dropped after it was deteamed impractical. The experiment is expected to reach its climax in 2018. In entertainment news, Jeff and sweetheart, sweetheart wife are no longer flat earthers. Quite how this is even possible is anybody's guess. But there has been a sharp drop in viewing figures showing apparent lack of interest in fabricated flat earth drama. Local authorities were called to the Stewart residence, Trailer Park, Hicksville, USA, earlier this week, after neighbours reporting wailing, gnashing of teeth, and a curious odour coming from the drains. Jeff Stewart has since issued multiple copyright claims stating this whole thing is a psyop. The interview ended abruptly when Jeff was asked why he was only wearing one shoe. In related news, a grown man cries at the news of Jeff Stewart's departure from Flat Earth. It seems such a formidable character with feet of clay was too much for YouTuber Stargobs, also known as Richard Vertuzzi, who was again photographed wearing a woman's dress, this time wearing only one shoe, in this case a single Jimmy Choo stiletto. When asked why he was wearing only one Jimmy Choo, Mr. Vertuzzi told our reporter it was because of the Jesuits. No connections have been drawn between the one shoe phenomena and the Jesuits. That's all from me, Nathan Oakley. And me, Antonio Subirat. We'll see you later on for Patricia's Flat Earth and Other Hot Potato show, The Secret Hangout. And see you again on Flat Earth News. Goodbye. <laughs>